Gundam head. Those things are really big. You know, when you're used to doing the models only, you don't realize how big one of these things would really be. We're in the Bondi booth, obviously. This is their, uh, their fun display item, a one-to-one -one Zack head. Now, of course, the reason that they've got a Zack head here in the booth is because we have a new Zack. Let's go take a look. They got the real grade uh, mass production Zack out here. And uh, here she is. Of course, we really don't need to tell you too much about the real grade series because we've already had the our Gundam RX-78 and the Sharzak from the same thing. So obviously it's just a color change and a, a few details change. But again, you know, amazing posability in a tiny little package uh, with what may be uh, actually, I've been told that in the original Gundam series, back when the plastic models first came out, the Zack was actually more popular than the Gundam itself. Uh, and it is, uh, of course, a classic and timeless design. And now we've got it in a state-of-the-art, cute little package here. Uh, let's move on. There's a lot of cool stuff in Bandai's booth this year. Uh, if you've been in Tokyo uh, any time in the last uh, year or so, you couldn't have missed the construction of Tokyo Skytree. It's going to be the largest uh, tower structure in Asia, and uh, Bandai is going to do a uh, 1 700 scale model of this thing. It's almost a meter tall when it's done 90 centimeters. It's going to light up and everything. They have a little more desktop friendly version over here in a 2400 scale one. Uh, but if you want a Skytree, you're going to want the big one, right? Because then it becomes like uh, part of your interior in your office, you know? Impress your guests. All right, let's take a look over here. You know, a lot of the, uh, the kids' anime type shows uh, that are in Japan are incredibly popular and have been frustrating for us because they don't have a lot of good products in the, the plastic model department for them, but boom, here we go. We've solved that problem with the new Pocket Monster, Pocket Pra, the pocket, pocket plastic models for uh, the uh, Pokemon series. Uh, of course, starting out with Pikachu here. And uh, they've got little gimmicks in these so that after you build them, like if you move his head here, his ears kind of move up and down uh, and his tail moves back and forth. So there's a little bit of posability and some action here. You can see like a display here how uh, the arms and wings move on this one. Uh, so this will be great for uh, starter models for, your, for kids uh, to get used to building plastic models or for any fan of Pokemon. This is a great new series, the Pokepras, going to be coming out in July from Bandai. Uh, now we're going to move to something very near and dear to me. Um, and that's the, uh, the figureized series from Bandai. Uh, they've been doing the Kamen Riders, they also did uh, Dragon Ball uh, and One Piece. And uh, I have to admit, as some of you may know, I'm a huge Kamen Rider fan now. Uh, I've built Double, I've built Axel here, uh, and I'm halfway through Skull right now. And uh, these are fantastic. They're uh, all the good parts about a plastic model uh, and a figure rolled into one with perfect posability, and they look great too. Uh, they only take about four hours or so to build and they're a lot of fun. Of course, we just had uh, Kamen Rider O's in the Tatoba version uh, came out recently. Uh, we hope we're going to have some more variations from the uh, Kamen Rider O's coming out, but they haven't announced anything here yet. But what they have announced is that we're going to get Kamen Rider 1 and 2, the originals. Well, the real, real original, if you know your Kamen Rider lore, is this guy hiding in the background here. Uh, but we're going to get uh, the new Kamen Rider 1 and new Kamen Rider 2 uh, coming out in August. And uh, it's kind of a different look and feel than uh, some of the more mechanical looking modern Kamen Riders. But I'm sure any hardcore Kamen Rider fan is going to want to build at least number one because that's where it all started now, didn't it? Okay, let's get into, uh, get into Gundam land here. And uh, G Gundam, which is a series that hasn't had a lot of movement at all lately, has got two exciting new kits coming in 1144 scale. Uh, we're going to get the Master Gundam and Foon Psyche. That's his horse there. Uh, in brand new 1144 scale. Now, uh, somebody on the Twitter stream when we were talking about this on Thursday said, gee, that looks like 1100 scale. Well, that's a testament to just how good Bondi's detail is these days, isn't it? But you can see from the size of my hand that that's definitely not 1100 scale. But you got Foon Psyche, the horse, uh, and Master Gundam here. And of course, he can ride the horse too. So wouldn't want that not to happen. And unlike the original kit, he's also going to be able to do that defensive cloak pose thing that. Uh, that he does here with the, uh, the cloak wrapped around his body. Also from G Gundam, we have a new version of the Shining Gundam coming uh, in 1144 scale. So uh, a lot of G Gundam fans out there who haven't had much uh, new product to talk about in a long time, pretty excited about this. And let's see what we got next here. Let's, uh, let's jump down to uh, Epion. Took the stitch moth. From Gundam Wing, we have uh, the Epion coming out in a brand new Master Grade kit. All right. 
Uh, of course, full transformation, full posability, all the stuff you've come to expect from all of Bandai's great new kits. And the proportions of this, just to me, look to be a lot, I don't know, cooler, is that the word, uh, than it did in the, in the original release to me. But that's what you expect because Bandai keeps up in their game all the time. Of course, it's going to come with a stand. You'll be able to transform it completely between the two different modes. This looks like a really sharp, really beautiful kit. It's like the only Gundam, I think, that has this, this neat dark purple color, and that makes it, uh, makes it very unique. Now, we got some more real cool transforming stuff, too, down here. From, uh, from Gundam Unicorn, we have the, the Master Grade kit of the Delta Plus coming out. As you can see, they're not even past kind of prototyping stage yet. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit farther out. It says August release here. Um, they've got the, uh, the Hyakushiki from Zeta Gundam posed in the background here for a reason. Because the design of the Delta Plus is based on the Hyakushiki, uh, which was designed originally by uh, Mamoru Naganu from uh, El Gaim and Five Star Stories fame, who also did the Rick Diaz from Zeta Gundam as well. Uh, but they've taken his design, and I don't know if it was Katoki or who it was, has kind of turned it into a, a combination or sort of a cross between the, the Hyakushiki and a Zeta Gundam. And this kit will fully transform into uh, the, well, they call it Wave Rider in this form, I'm not sure. It'll transform into uh, this version. And they've got a, a, a fast prototyped uh, mock-up in the back here, kind of showing you what the transformation process is going to entail. Uh, but the staff has told me that it will not involve any removal of parts. It will all be able to do its complete transformation without any removal or replacement of parts. So that'll be a pretty impressive uh, thing to see happen when it, uh, when it actually takes place. So as you can see, a uh, quick one through Bondi's booth today. They got a lot of exciting stuff here in Shizuoka and we're looking forward to all these great releases in July and August. Yeah.